The Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Northwestern University's McCormick School of Engineering prepares students to become leaders in shaping the world we live in. Civil environmental engineering is concerned with uh, the, the built and the natural infrastructure that supports life as we understand it. Roadways, transportation systems, water supply, and the parts of the natural environment that are critical to daily life. Committed to excellence in teaching and research, the department is ranked among the top in the nation. Civil and environmental engineers seek creative solutions to complex issues, engineering sustainable cities and their structures, designing, building, and renewing the world's infrastructure, meeting the planet's energy and water needs, and preserving and protecting the environment. Students take courses and carry out research with internationally renowned faculty. This video will highlight just a few of these distinguished researchers. Principal areas of research include structural engineering and materials, which involves designing and constructing buildings, bridges, dams, and tunnels. Transportation systems analysis and planning studies how to provide efficient, safe, and environmentally sound mobility worldwide. Transportation is at the intersection of technology and people and the behavior of people. Something about economics, something about sociology, something about geography, really how people interact over space. Hani Mamasani is director of Northwestern University's Transportation Center, an interdisciplinary effort to develop sustainable transportation systems. We know that the transportation sector is a major consumer of energy. We know that the transportation sector is a major polluter in our cities, uh, and therefore solutions to these global problems obviously must address transportation issues. Geotechnics and environmental geotechnics builds knowledge of the engineering properties of soil and rock to ensure the strength and stability of structures. We build structures that are in, on, or of the earth, which is just about anything that you can think of, all the way from dams and tunnels to the controversial and unique. For instance, uh, we deal with the design of nuclear waste repositories as well as the levees in New Orleans. So what's the, what's the black line? That's just I guess silver oxide, over time it oxidized. Yeah. Environmental engineering and science seeks to shield the environment from the harmful effects of human activity. We want to preserve opportunity and the integrity of the life support system um, for future generations while we're meeting present needs. So we don't want to use everything up, we want to keep something there for the, the future. Neil Blair tracks carbon cycles and the effects of global warming. He welcomes the next generation of environmental engineers. The new environmental engineer uh, has to be out there at the front devising strategies. There's a lot of creative, cutting edge things that we don't know how to do yet, but we need new people with new ideas to, to help us out, and that's where the environmental engineer comes in. Mechanics of materials and solids uses analytical, experimental, and computational methods to study the mechanical behavior of materials used in buildings, aircraft, and other structures. Students have many opportunities to participate in research and design competitions. It's been a two, two and a half year project uh, working on uh, crack monitoring and structures um, with respect to how they've responded to blast vibrations and construction vibrations in, uh, in the field. Graduate students may apply directly for the PhD degree. They may also choose to pursue the MS-PhD option or the standalone MS option. Civil engineers may also choose the Master of Project Management program. Many students are active in the American Society of Civil Engineers. We helped organize a trip down to the Horseshoe Casino because it was built on six barges, each one the size of a football field. So we got to go see a lot of the construction aspects and logistics that went into that project. We also had a trip out to San Francisco where we went and we toured the work they're doing to renovate the Bay Bridge. Other students are members of Engineers for a Sustainable World, striving for economic and environmental sustainability. The goal of the department is to produce the next generation of leaders in civil and environmental engineering and in related areas of management, law, medicine, and education.